Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own arc furnace. The first thing you're going to need is a fire brick. Second thing you're going to need is several wrenches, chisels, and screwdrivers. Third thing you'll need is a camp battery. The last thing you will need is an old TIG welder. First step is to carefully take apart the camp bat and extract the graphite rods that are inside of them. You can do this by carefully pulling out the cylindrical tube inside and carefully prying off the lid and pulling out the graphite rod with a pair of pliers. You're going to need at least two graphite rods for this project. The second step is to take your fire brick and cut a two inch piece of it off to use as the base of your arc furnace. And now you wanna get a one and a half inch hole cutter and you wanna carefully just work it in there and drill down about an inch and a half. So you have a perfect circular shape in the fire brick. Now you want to get a chisel and you want to carefully chisel that out so that you don't break the side walls of it. This is rather easy because the fire brick is rather brittle and easy to break with simple tools. Now you want to take a drill bit that is slightly bigger than the graphite rods you harvested and drill them directly into the sides of the furnace. You see why in a few minutes. Now you want to take the tool that you used to cut the brick with and carefully cut a little notch at the front end of this. You can use a chisel to help you with the process. This is rather easy by just using drywall saw and a flat hitch screwdriver and it did work pretty well. Now for the fourth step it's kind of like the third step but a little bit easier. I'm just taking the same fire brick and I'm making a lid for the furnace by cutting a one inch piece of it just to slide onto the top while it's in use to keep all the heat in. You want to take a drill bit, the same one you use for the holes in the side, and you want to go about an inch deep on opposite corners. I'll show you why in just a few minutes. And once you're done with that, you have a lid for your furnace. The next step is to take your graphite rods and attach them to both ends of the welder that you are using. Make sure that they're nice and secure. The next step is to stick in your graphite rods onto each side of the furnace and then turn on the welder. I suggest turning it into a low power setting. You want to do this in a well ventilated area because it does make a lot of smoke because it's a waxy substance on the graphite rods. But after a few minutes, the smoke dissipates and it's pretty good. After letting the forge heat up for a few minutes, I started adding some pieces of copper into it till it melted. And then once I had a sizable amount of molten copper in there, I decided to pour it into a dish of water. <laughs> Okay, I'm going for test two now in a metal pan. After seeing that the first two times that pouring molten metal into water is not a good way to make casts, I decided to make a little brick indent into a piece of fire brick. Even after a couple failed attempts, I am quite happy with the results. This is the end of this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video to your friends. See you guys later!